Alright, so in this video I'm going to be going through how to add grabs into your game. Grab hitboxes and from there I'll show you how to add interactions to your grabs. If you're looking for access to the files and scripts in this video, don't forget to check out the Patreon in the description down below where you can get help one on one and meet the community of people that are working on their own projects related to platform fighting games. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this series has been helpful towards you. And so let's jump into this tutorial. Okay, so for now I'm going to be using the wolf character. You can use the fox character or any other character that you already have. But I'm just going to be using the fox character just for the sake of spicing things up. So the first thing you want to go to, want to do is go into the fox the wolf script and add in a new variable that looks something like this. Once you've added this line, LAN45, which should be export var grab box with a pack scene, you want to scroll down to where your hitbox and create projectile functions are and you want to add in a new function that looks something like this. So this is what it's going to look like. You want to have a new function called grab, a create grab box with the width, height, damage and duration and points being its parameters. So you want it to look pretty much like this. You can get rid of these annotations. This was just here for testing purposes. Another variable that we should probably add is the grabbing variable. So under attacks, this category of variables, we're going to add in this variable also, var grabbing equals false. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is go into the state machine and we're going to add in a new state called grabbed. I want to put it around where the hit stun is and it should look something like this. Add underscore state grabbed. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of where all of our states are and add in a new state. And for now, what we're going to do is we are going to make this a pass. From here, what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the state machine and above where we added the freeze, the hit freeze functions from one of my other videos that you can find. What you want to do is add in a new function and call it grabbed. If you want access to the code, don't forget to check out the Patreon. You should have access to all the files, the current file that I'm working with when it comes to this project. So once you've done that, we're going to move on to the next part of the tutorial. Alright, so what you want to do is make a new scene a 2D scene and what we are going to do is we are going to add in a new node and have it be a collision shape and then change this node to an area 2D. Once you've done that, change the name of the area 2D to grab box and then change the collision shape 2D to grab box shape. Don't forget to select the shape for the hitbox or grab box I should say and make it a rectangle 2D. As well as if you want you can go to the grab box shape and change the debug color so that it's distinctive when you're looking at it in the editor. So you might want to make it something green like this. So the next thing that you want to do is click on the grab box and add a script. We're going to call this grab box.gd and in this script you're going to want to paste all of this code. Don't forget that this code is going to be in the description down below in the Patreon where you have access to the whole project and prior versions of the project from the other tutorial videos. And so I'm about to go through what each of these lines of code means. Alright, so in the first part of the script, we're going to have our variables to declare. These exported variables aren't really that important. These are just for testing purposes. So you can make these just regular variables. But again, you want to copy all of these variables. An important one to note would probably be grab box, which is going to get the collision shape node. The next one would be set parameters, which is also from the hitbox tutorial video that I made. Do so you want to copy this? And then you have grab box collide. The way grab box is going to work, so the way grabbing is going to work, is that we are going to first detect the body of our enemy player. Then we're going to add a certain amount of damage to our player, because some grabs do damages. And then what we're going to do is we are going to reset the frame timer for the body of the player that we've just grabbed. And what we're going to do is in that grabbed function that we just made, we are going to call it and we're going to make the first part of this function, which is the body. We're going to make the body equal to the name of our parent, which is the name of our player character. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to add in the state that our player character is currently in. So for example, in Fox, the state is going to be, for example, grab. And then what we're going to do is make it so that our opponent is going to enter the grab state, which is why we added it. And then we're going to teleport the opponent towards the position of the grab box. And we're going to make the opponent's velocity equal to zero so they can't escape the grab. The reason why we have this grabbed function as being called in our enemy is so that if let's say you grab your opponent and they're moving really fast, your opponent is not then able to come out of the grab. So this is the way we're going to check for that. And so what we're going to do is say that our parent dot grabbing is going to be equal to true. And in our ready function, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new rectangle shape 2D. And then we're going to set the physics process to false. In the physics process, all we are doing is incrementing the frame counter by one each frames. You can probably rename this to a name that's more appropriate, but I was just using this when I was in the testing. And so let's say the duration of the grab box is meant to be 30 frames, which is half a second. If the frames reaches half a second, we're going to make it so that our, our parent is no longer grabbing and the hitbox is going to Q3, AKA it's going to destroy itself. And so, and so that should be it for the script. Don't, pre don't forget to press Control S and save the script. And that should be it for the script. But the next thing we want to do is go to our Fox scene and then go to the state machine. And where our grabbed state is, we're gonna wanna paste in this code. What this is basically doing is it's basically just checking to see when the player is being grabbed, the opponent who just grabbed you, if they are still in the grabbing state that they are in. So for example, they might do something like a neutral attack and that might require them to do a grab. Well, this line of code is going to check that our opponent is still in that state. If that opponent changes state, then we are no longer grabbed. This is just so that any errors that may occur from moving too fast or not being in the right position does not occur as our opponent will do an attack that's meant to grab the opponent and if they go out of that attack, our our character who's being grabbed is no longer still grabbed as that is a glitch that is uh, quite frequent to happen if you don't have a line of code that looks something like this. All right, so now that we've added this grab state, we're gonna now have to add in the attack states that allow us to use the grab function that we've just added. All right, so from here, what we're going to do is we're gonna scroll up and add in our new states. So scroll all the way to the top. I'm gonna add in two new states for this attack. And it's gonna look something like this. Jab and jab underscore one. So now we're actually going to add in the code for the jab and jab underscore one states. You wanna scroll down probably somewhere where the ground attacks are. So somewhere around here. And we're gonna paste in this code. So as you can see, we have jab, which looks like this. And then you can see that we have jab underscore one, which looks like this. All right, so once you've added in these states, you now wanna scroll down and add the animation for these states. So I might wanna add it under the ground attacks and it should look something like this. States or jab, states or jab underscore one with its animations and states label text. And once you've added in these states, you now want to add in the animation you're gonna play from when you are grabbed. So I'm gonna add it underneath the hit stun state and it's gonna look something like this. States.grabbed and it's simply just gonna play the hit stun animation, but the states text is gonna be grabbed. All right, so what we're going to do is go into the wolf scripts and we're gonna add in some attack functions for jab and jab underscore one. So as you can see, we have jab and jab underscore one. Here, the way the grab box has been set up is with a width of 30, a height of 40 pixels, a damage of zero, and with a duration of three frames, whilst being in the position of 64 in the X axis and zero in the Y axis. All right, so once you're done with all of that, you can finally add the grab box scene to the parameter over here. Then go to the main stage, and then we're gonna add in the wolf character. I want to rename this to Fox for the camera to work because we've not set up the camera system yet and the camera system only checks if the if there's a node with the name of uh, Fox. So I'm going to move him down here. In fact, I'm going to flip it over. 
and then I'm going to give it an ID of 1 and then we're going to start the game. And as you can see, the grab works. Now, just to be uh, even sure, I can make my character run. Uh, there you can, you can see the character was teleported. There we go. And just an, another test, but with the collision shapes, you'll see that it is the grab box that is colliding with the opponents. Yeah, so you can see how big the grab box is. There we go. And that should be it for this video. Alright, and so that's it for this video. In the next video, I should be going over defensive moves such as rolling and spot dodging, as well as air dodges. And so, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to check out the Patreon. And so, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.